वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सीरीज इनपुट पैरल आउटपुट कनेक्शंस ऑफ टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड वंस वी कनेक्ट दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन फाइंड इक्विलेंट टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क पैरामीटर्स फॉर सीरीज इनपुट पैरल आउटपुट कनेक्शन सो फॉर दैट first of all let me draw one two port network first now let us say this is two port network a and for that at port 1 let us say we are having voltage v1a and current going inside that is i1a and current coming out that is i1a at port 2 voltage is v2a and current going inside that is i2a and current coming out that is i2a now what i'll do is i'll draw second two port network let us say this is two port network b and for that at port 1 let us say we are having voltage v1b at port 1 and current going inside that is i1b and current coming out that is i1b at port 1 of two port network b at port 2 we are having voltage v2b and current going inside that is i2b and current coming out that is i2b at port 2 now my dear students what i'll do is i'll explain you how we can have series input connection now see when we talk about series input connection then see these are inputs right so inputs are connected in series means you see for series connection it should be connected like this right now secondly we will be connecting parallel output connection so for parallel output connection you should know these are my outputs and at outputs i'll be providing parallel connections so for that let me extend this lines first now at output for parallel connection you see this terminal that should be connected over here and this terminal that should be connected over here right so that is how parallel connection is there at output side and series connection is there input side so now what i'm saying is this is my equivalent two port network and for this equivalent two port network let us say this is port 1 so that is having voltage v1 over here current going inside is i1 and current coming out that is i2 and at port 2 here we are having voltage v2 and current going inside is i2 and current coming out that is i2 that is how we are having equivalent model right now what i'll do is i'll be deriving relation of equivalent two port network for this series input parallel output connection so for that first of all we need to have relations of voltage and current as per the connection which is given over here right so if you observe here at input we are having series connections right so for series connections you should know that currents are same you can see i1 is equals to i1a and i1a that is equals to i1b right so i can say that i1 that is i1a and that is also equals to i1b and at input side if you apply kvl then voltage v1 that will be v1a plus v1b so at input if you apply kvl then v1 is equals to v1a plus v1b right now let us see what is happening at output side so you see at output we are having parallel connection so for parallel connection you should know voltages are same you can observe that even you see this v2 that is equals to v2a and this v2 that is equals to v2b so all i can say is v2 is equals to v2a and that is equals to v2b and at output side we are having parallel connection so you see current is getting bisected and you can apply k 
KCL at this node, so entering current that is equals to leaving current. So entering current is I2, leaving current is I2A and I2B. So I can say I2 is equals to I2A plus I2B, right? So now we have the relations of voltage and current, right? Now what we can do is we can use these equations to have a relation of equivalent network, right? So you see these equations are there in form of algebraic sum, I can write that in form of matrix. So let us write that in form of matrix first. So this will be, you see in form of matrix, V1 I2 that is equals to, see V1 A I2 A plus another matrix in that V1 B I2 B that is how it is there, right. Now my dear students, you should know the relation of V1 I2 matrix. V1 I2 matrix that is there in form of H parameter. H parameter means hybrid parameter. So V1 I2 that is our generalized matrix, right? So I can say V1 I2 that is H matrix into I1 V2 matrix. And that is equals to, you see for V1 A I2 A, we are having two port network of A, you see V1 A I2 A that is there with two port network A, right? So for V1 A I2 A, I need to write H matrix of A into I1 V2 here I1 A V2 A that I need to write plus V1 B I2 B matrix that is H matrix of B into I1 B V2 B that I need to write, right? Now my dear students, if you observe, see this I1 is equals to I1 A is equals to I1 B. So this I1 is equals to I1 A is equals to I1 B. As well as you see V2 is equals to V2 A is equals to V2 B. So you see this V2 that is equals to V2 A is equals to V2 B. What it means? I1 V2 matrix that is same at both of the side. So what I can do is I can cancel this matrix from both of the side, right? So as if I cancel this, we are having simplified H matrix which is resultant of network A and network B. So that is H parameter of A plus H parameter of B, right? So in short, you can see how I can calculate this. So H11, H12, H21, H22, that will be for A and B, algebraic sum is there. So I can say H11A plus H11B and for H12, it will be H12A plus H12B. For H21, it will be H21A plus H21B and for H22, it will be H22A plus H22B. That is how it will be there. Right. So my dear students, here you should know that if connection is there in series for input and parallel for output, then equivalent two port network should have H matrix calculation and that will be algebraic sum of how many numbers of two port networks are connected in series input parallel output connections, right? So in general, if multiple two port networks are connected as per series input parallel output connection, then we'll be having H matrix is equals to two port network of A of H matrix, then two port network of B's H matrix plus two port network of C's H matrix and so on. We just need to do algebraic sum. So my dear students, one thing that you should remember for series connection, you should find Z is equals to ZA plus ZB like this. For parallel connection, you should find Y is equals to YA plus YB like this. For cascade connection, you should find ABCD parameters matrix 
that will be t is equals to t a into t b into t c that is how you should do multiplication but when it comes to series input parallel output connection at that time you will have to find hybrid parameter matrix that is equals to h a plus h b plus h c and so on so this is what you will have to understand when there will be multiple two board networks connected in series input parallel output pattern i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video